Welcome back to Live Young Die Cast. This is an open class modified rally event. It's turf wars between the Pacific Rim and the Monster Motorsports team and the Deep Eddy Raceway with the Live Young Diecast team here at home. Following Monster Motorsports into Austin was Kenny's father-in-law, Jabbar, who will be running the newest outlet of Kenny's Kebab Shop here on the Deep Eddy Raceway. Good luck, Jabbar. All right, Heat 1 is the Lancia Delta Integrales, the GOAT racing for Live Young Diecast, weighing in at 77 grams, and Todoroki Go from Monster Motorsports, weighing in at 58 grams. We've got lap one for the first heat with the Lanchas, and Todoroki Go on the inside, GOAT on the outside. Todoroki Go falling behind in turn one, the GOAT, has the hammer down and he is gonna take lap one for the Lanches. And Todoroki Go does finish. That will earn him a point. It's two points for the win, one point for the finish. And we'll go into a tiebreaker with the fastest lap taking the inside lane advantage should we need that. That's about the end of the rules. So the GOAT takes the first one with two points, Todoroki Go. For Monster Motorsports, does finish and earns a point. Keeps him in the game at his key. All right, lap two. This could seal it up. And the GOAT's on the inside. Toward a rookie go on the outside. The GOAT with a nice lead into turn one, hanging on to it. Toward a rookie go skids out a little bit there. Gonna fall behind and oh! The GOAT going up on the edge of the track. Not much of a rail slide this time, and that is going to be a double DNF as Todoroki Go skids out on the Vista Jump, or just before it. A little bit of pushing and shoving up in turn one got us to this point, and the GOAT just can't hang on. So we'll reset and go again for a redo. Lap two with the GOAT on the inside. Todoroki Go is on the outside. GOAT hanging on to the lead again. Everyone makes it through the turn smooth and Todoroki Go is pushing but falls behind. And this will go to the GOAT. Two points here. Todoroki Go does finish and earns one point. Again, very key as these are gonna get really tight with points. Todoroki Go looking for a pass there. Couldn't get the overtake and just rebounds off the bumper of the GOAT. This will give Live Young Diecast four points and Monster Motorsports two points as we head into Heat 2. These are the Volkswagen Sirocco or Sirocco GT24s. Baby Driver driving for Live Young Diecast, weighing in at 66 grams, and Lala Ramirez, 53 grams for Monster Motorsports. Again, with the inside lane to kick off. We have two laps and a tiebreaker if we need it. All right, that is Baby Driver falling behind from the outside lane. And Lala Ramirez just on fire, skids through for the finish. And that's two points. Baby Driver is able to finish, he'll earn one. This is a hell of a lead right out of the gate. She gets a pretty good distance from Baby Driver and does not slow down at all. Even with that rail slide, goes through for the win. So two points to Monster Motorsports and Lala Ramirez. Picking up a couple for the team. Baby Driver does get one. And lap two, Baby Driver on the inside. Lala on the outside. Lap two, Volkswagen GT24s. And they are door to door in turn one. A little spin out from Lala, and that will open up an opportunity for Baby Driver to sneak by and take a couple of points for the team. Nicely done. Baby Driver does have the lead here, and then is overtaken going into the second turn, but then he overtakes again, taking advantage of that spin out from Lala, and takes it home. Nicely done from Baby Driver. The fastest lap of the two as we are tied does go to Lala Ramirez, 
to Baby Driver's 7.522. That's gonna earn her the inside lap, inside lane actually, for the tiebreaker. So Lala's on the inside. Baby Driver on the outside. The tiebreaker lap, she's got a nice lead again. And this looks a little bit familiar like the first lap, and she's got it even with a rollover through the finish line. That's gonna earn her two points for the tiebreaker lap. This will put Monster Motorsports at seven points, LYDC with eight points, heading into Heat 3, the Citroen C4 rallies. Doug Gnarly, 73 grams. Jessica Devaport, 51 grams from Monster Motorsports. On the inside lane to kick off first lap. Heat 3, the Citroen C4 rallies. And Jessica out with a nice speed. Doug Gnarly's closing. Little contact in turn one. He's closing again on the bumper and can't do it. Jessica Devonport will take lap one. Both will finish. Points on the board for both. Check this out. We need to see this replay because these guys were pretty tight here. Doug Gnarly closing in on that turn. Can't get around. All oh, that weight must be in the back. Will flop on the jump, never good. Probably slowed him down. Regardless, she scoots over and gets in his way, does not let him get through. And Doug Gnarly earns one to Jessica Devonport's two. Lap two, she can seal this up and move on to hate four. Or Doug Gnarly can take one for the LYDC team. He's out front, Jessica is closing in. She's going for the pass. Oh, a little bit of bumping and shoves her over and he will take it. Doug Gnarly with the win on the second lap of the heat. Jessica does come in late after recovering, probably in turn two there after the Vista jump. And points on the board again. This is staying really tight here. A little bump right there. Looks like they bumped each other both ways and Doug kind of won out there. And that win is going to tie them up and send us into a tiebreaker lap. The judges will give us the fastest lap here. And Jessica Devonport, Monster Motorsports, gets the fastest lap again, 7.350 to Doug's 7.446. So Jessica will earn the inside lane on the tiebreaker and Doug Gnarly on the outside. And here we go for our tiebreaker lap. Heat three, the Citroen C4 rallies. Jessica out with a nice lead. Turn one, smooth. Oh, an overtake from Doug, but he goes backwards. Tries to spin back around, not gonna help him out. And Jessica takes the win. What a great overtake from Jessica Devaport on the final stretch. This is gorgeous. And this is also a beautiful overtake here. Sneaky, sneaky from Doug Gnarly. But he botches the jump. Doesn't like being in reverse. Wants to go back around. A terrible decision that cost him that lap. Jessica Devonport will take advantage and win. And we are 12 to 12 between both teams. And Heat 4 is the Ford Fiestas. Nacho is weighing in at 63 grams for LYDC. Piggy Too Little at 42 grams for Monster Motorsports. She's on the inside to start as usual. And Nacho on the outside. Heat four, the final heat of this tournament. And Piggy Too Little going for that Daddy G signature move. That block right ahead of turn one. It's gonna work out for her. She's gonna take the win and Nacho is going to finish and put points on the board, keeping this a tight, tight race. Look at that. Pushing, pushing, pushing. It sometimes works, and it sometimes doesn't. And in this case, it works out for Piggy Too Little, who stretches out her lead and earns the two points for the win. We are at 13 points overall to Live Young Diecast, 14 to Monster Motorsports. We have one lap to go. Piggy Too Little can seal this up. Or Nacho with the inside lane can tie this up. What do we got here? They are door to door. Trade paint and Piggy Too Little comes out blazing. Out of turn one, she holds the lead 
and wins this thing for Monster Motorsports. Oh my goodness. Amazing driving from two, Peaky Too Little, no stranger to the racetrack. Man. And Monster Motorsports diecast racing. The garage put together a wonderful set of cars. And that team is going to party at the Moon Tower tonight. Congratulations to Monster Motorsports for taking home the Turf Wars Rally Event Trophy. Fantastic job. Great cars. Thanks so much for participating. Monster Motorsports. Rumor has it, these rides will be moving over to the Pacific Rim for another round. We'll look forward to that. We hope you'll stay tuned and visit the Monster Motorsports Diecast Racing Channel. There's a link in the description. Okay, y'all, remember, live young, diecast.